for 197. Brett Farr, the number one seed from Minnesota. The Gophers only finalist going up against one of six from Ohio State. Colin Moore, he's a freshman. Jim, he's a good one. He really is. I like watching him. You know, it, and he's a younger version of Brett Farr. I you know he's just a lot of offense, really good on his finishes. You see how they got here, 17 to 7, major decisions, both for, for Farr. And then a little bit more work being done here by Moore in his matches, but uh, really gets it done. This Farr be- has gone 2 and 0 against Ohio State's uh, Colin Moore. It won, he won 15 to 7 in Las Vegas. Look at this. 7 to 5, and now Moore goes out front for the first time 2 0. Nice near arm far leg there. Really felt that well. Moore doesn't really necessarily feel comfortable riding him, but this is great here. Great start for Moore to get a little Center confidence action. against Center action. a guy that, that will go the whole seven in, in Brett Farr. You know, we already know that, that Colin will do the same thing. That's a takedown as well with that uh, leg lace opportunity there. He got weight on the hands. It's a good answer by far. Brett Farr, the senior out of Lesseur, Minnesota. Lesseur Henderson High School. Hard worker, positive attitude, team leader, All-American, trying for his right first Big Sorry. Ten championship. So one spot I saw. Oh, and I'm sorry, right here, too. Yeah, this is just a... Far entering this match with a 27 and 1 record, and now we're zeroing in on another Penn State wrestler at 197, Matt McCutcheon, trying to add another point at least. So, by our calculations, it's um, a three and a half point lead for uh, Ohio State. Is that? We'll watch it come around again in front of us. Yeah, three and a half, possibly two and a half here with the win by Bo, Bo uh, Nickel. Get to that. Face me. Face me. Again, those placing matches, you get one point. Here's the front lines. Set. Tyler. Set. That was. Oh, wait. You're down. So. Set. Cover. Set. Far out front, three to two. And an escape by Colin Moore, and it's all tied up. So, you know, good work by Moore to get a little confidence there with that early takedown. These guys are just the, the spitting image of each other. And, and you can just see that there's just a little bit more like, senior size and, 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 and definition, but I just like the way Colin Moore, you know, we already know that Farr is just a superior scrambler, but, but Moore is a guy that just you know, puts a lot of points up there on the board. A lot of shots. Great maturity as a redshirt freshman. He's just on his way to greatness out of Burbank, Ohio, Norwayne High School, Colin Moore. Here's Brandon Egham in his first year as the head coach. And the glasses there. I just can't say enough good things about Brett Farr and his leadership. And he says the most positive guy he knows. He says he's always positive every day. Great leader on the team. Dustin Schlater, NCAA champion, now assistant coach, standing by Brandon Agam. There's Jay Jaggers with the beard there, a two-time NCAA champion, top assistant to Tom Ryan. Here's, it's a three and a half. Ohio State out front of Penn State. Penn State's got two wrestlers left, so does Ohio State. Penn State's got to do more than just win. they got to get some bonus they points. they got to get some bonus points, and, and Ohio if, State can't win. And if Colin Moore can go ahead and finish this takedown, it'll go a long way to helping them. He got weight on the hands. So. And he got two. Yeah, three. And an escape. So there it's five to four. Good work there by Moore just coming out the back door. Because, you know, far as we've seen him over the years just be have these crazy scrambles there it's, it, he's d- difficult to finish on that's why man, we're so high on uh, the future of this guy Colin Moore be able to go ahead and pick his shots and he's already shot three times there's another committed shot right there at this point gets his head to the outside probably gonna work to probably crack down he's gonna work on keeping that right shoulder on the inside of the leg Right, you see Farr working that inside ankle pretty hard, cracks him down, able to cast across. Is he able to improve his position? Went round and round right there. Good job by Moore. If he can get his head out, he'll score. And keeps his head up. 
He is. There's takedown. And he's got... He's got two. Yeah, he's got many opportunities. He's got at least two counts. He's got and a he's pin looking for a pin. Colin Moore lost the first time 15 to 7, then 7 to 5. I'd say he's closed the gap. He's looking for the fall right here. Comes back with the reverse half oh. and far ro uh, rolls out. Colin oh. Moore with a big six point move. Great scramble. And a good job of just being technically sound and popping his head up at the correct time in the scramble. I, I, it looked for, to me like he was going to pin him. He had it that tight. Great job by Brett Farr getting off his back there because you're right. Colin Moore did have him. Yeah, he's got an op another opportunity. Well, ran out of time. But let's give a great look at this another this scramble. Look at the shot. He cracks him down right there. Casts across. They go through this. A couple of roll throughs right there. Each time... Moore improves his position. Now he's able to pop his head out. Notice how he doesn't go all the way over to the right side. He stays back, keeps his head up at the key moment. Now he's got far in trouble. He reaches back for the half, and this is where I thought that if he collected the bottom leg, not that other leg, the bottom leg at the knee, I thought he was going to pin it. Oh, oh, well, it was close. <laughs> I think he, it I was, think it was close. Yeah. It was close. And what Colin yeah. Moore did a great job there. Wow. Yeah. Was he used his leg early like a, uh, like an arm too, and yeah. to uh, get to, to keep far on his back? It, to just use his leg like a, a reverse Nelson. Yeah. Right. And so he ended up using Keeping his shoelaces on the back of the neck. All right. Bring the knee up, and then popped his head up at the right time. That's great feel for the freshman. And, you know, this match isn't over by any stretch because far can keep the pace of the match high. And he's definitely going to have to change the way he's, he's going to have to get quicker to the shot. And you're a little bit less concerned about the quality of the setup. Got to get to the leg to score. Too early for Moore to shut down. You know, and when it, you had that break, you know, where you had the blood timeout and all that, you go ahead and get a little breather, but he's right back in on it. Now he steps across. You know, he settles back. He's able to pop his head up. I always to say about the guy that keeps his head up is going to win the scramble. Who's doing it so far? It's about even at this stage. Moore no. pops his head yeah. up one more time. Nice cast over by yeah. Far. And he gets the points. It, it is not given yet, but should don't be. Know why. Yeah, we are clearly, clearly that's points. So Far turns a uh, getting taken down into a takedown. 12 to 6. A win here by Moore would seal it for Ohio State. Keep your head in position. Keep going. All the Penn State fans are keenly they're, interested they're in this. They're fans yeah. right now. And, and their own. Right now it's one to one with their 197 pounder in the touch. And Far needs to score right here. I mean, there's 45 seconds left. You've got to be able to get to a shot. And you got to take a little bit of risk right now to get that. 13 8 is a totally different score. It's, it's kind position. of like a one possession um, game then. Yeah, because you know, you're within six points with the takedown and near fall. And he's just not able to get to it. Good head from well, he got to the leg. Short time though. He's gonna go with a big scoop and he gets it. Wow. Puts him back the two. into it. Two seconds left. He gets the two. Just according to Dr. Gibbons' prescription for staying in the match. Now it's a now it's his one choice. possession game. He's going to go down. It's 13 to 8. He's going to try to make it 13 to 9. There's no riding time involved. Can the veteran, the fifth year senior, come all the way back? And I think at this stage, I think you look for a reversal, something that you can take the freshman to his back. And, and the freshman's not going to try to have anything to do with that. He's going to go ahead and get the release. He'd rather be on his feet. So you don't look for something too big right here, right now. Go back to that, that same shot that you hit. Maybe come to the other side. He likes to drag a lot. Far does. Controlling the wrist. See that drag there to a single leg? Now you got to have a sense of urgency. You're breaking out into that that, that go-to move that's not just to score, but to score big. I also call it the ace in the hole. All right, you've got to go ahead and hit something big right now. And you see that, that, that Moore 
is doing a good, nice job of blocking with the top of his head. Those legs seem like they're 100 miles away for far right now. Lee bent over at the waist. Doing a good job of hand fighting. No stalling yet on uh, Moore. He's, he continues to circle in the middle and Far is not able to break through that head hands defense. Again, it just seems like Far's his lower body is not not, not as you know, he's, he's there with his upper body in the tie, but his lower body is just a little a little behind. Shucked by there. Definitive finish here for Moore. This is not an upset. I mean, it's an, it's an upset, right. but, it, but it's, it's the way he's going about it is it's no clue. Moore is uh, making a statement, and uh, these two are the two favorites to uh, go after the NCAA champion, Jaden Cox, one of two Olympic medalists who are wrestling in college. And I'll tell you what, everybody stay tuned because there's an Olympic champion coming up at heavyweight. And um, we have two of them in the co collegiate ranks this year. Olympic champ and Olympic bronze medalist, Jaden Cox from Missouri and Kyle Snyder from Ohio State. Wrestling in college, Colin Moore, a freshman for Ohio State, wins the Big Ten Wrestling Championship at 197 pounds. We talk 